Anyways, sorry guys, uh, this is Gabe again. Uh, I just wanted to show you, this is my other Bible that I ordered from local church publishers. Just kind of show you the quality of it. Also, this is the basic series, but this is the Spanish and English version. As you can see here, it also comes with the ridges. Very beautiful ridges. Uh, this is cowhide, this is not the lambskin. Uh, this is the church. Uh, but it's still very beautiful design. The stitching is beautiful on it, as you can see. This is the cowhide. This is the medium size. Uh, still, the very this the the cowhide is very soft. Still, I mean, very beautiful, very soft, very uh, good quality. I just wanted to show you guys. I know I made the other on the other video, and it's also lined. You know, cowhide, very very beautiful, uh, very high quality. Uh, leather or cowhide. This is the the bilingual version. You got a few pages in here. As you can see here, this is the bilingual one. So for you guys who you know want a Bible that has you know both Spanish and English, uh, this is the local church publishers logo. So anyways, um, just want to show you this one. This is also very, very good quality Bible. I really like this. Um, uh, parallel right here, Spanish and English. Uh, very beautiful. It's also the King James Version. King James Authorized. Uh, but I really like the setting on the, on the print. It's really nice. Very clean. Very easy to read. And pages are really nice I don't know it's hard to tell here but it's very very nice page very nice paper I really like that it's also gold uh, gold line I'll show you that in a second also comes with two separators okay I'll show you guys who like to read multiple chapters I really like this setup this very very clean very clean uh, writing or print. Uh, this one, this is the basic series, so this one does not have um, a concordance or anything like that. It's just the pure, the pure word. You got some some pages in the back, so if you want to write. Um, but those of you guys who might be preaching and you know. Spanish and English churches and stuff like that. Right here, one of the features that I really like is called the errata, which uh, basically they show you wherever the interpreter, um, whoever the scholar, whoever is interpreting the Bible, uh, what they added. For example, this first one here, Genesis 2.18, says, Añadidas las palabras de gracia. So wherever they add it to the word, because every Bible, you know, the, the translator actually adds little phrases like that. They do that because they want you to understand it better. Uh, they just add it on there so so what you're reading is a little bit more understandable. And like in this instance here, Genesis 2.18, 2, they added De Gracia. And you'll find that in italics in, in this Bible. This is one of the features that I really, really like about this Bible and all local church publishers. That when they translated this Bible, like if you go in the Reina Valera, you're not going to find you're not going to find any italics, for example, right here where it says Porque, right here. As you can see, it says Porque, that's an italics. So that means that the, the translator added those two words, so it becomes more understanding. Um, and one of the things that the Reina Valera does not have is that. It doesn't have the italics, so you don't know what they added. You don't know what, what was the original or what's been added to it. And this is one of the great features that I really, really like about this Bible, that they do add italics, both in the in English version and in the Spanish version. You're not gonna, and I, I spend a lot of time searching for Bibles, Spanish Bibles that had that italics. I can never find one, never. And I was really glad when I, did, when I found local church Bible publishers uh, that they, they had that, uh, that, uh, that feature in their the italics. 
So anyways guys, this is a very nice Bible. Also, this is the basic series. This is the medium size. It's a little bit bigger than my other one. So if you can see here, this is the one I was showing you. So, so if you compare the two, you can see what the difference is. This is the hand size one, which I really like because it's easy to hold it and read it when you're when you're uh, sitting in your couch it's really easy to you know, hold it one palm it's really really nice um, this is really nice too I really like this Bible too the only thing is it's a little bit heavier it's when you're sitting there and you're reading this where it's just your hand gets tired if you're holding it so that's why I wanted uh, the smaller one so, but this is a really nice Bible. I really like it. I really like to study with this one. It's beautiful. And uh, just want to make let you guys know. Also has the same stitching. They use the same stitching. Very, very nice stitching. It's not going to fall apart on you. So that's what I like about it. Alright guys, so just want to show you... Uh, my two Bibles and um, I hope you really like them. I hope you get yourself one because I really really like mine Local church Bible publishers Really good quality Bibles for you guys in the ministry out there doing missions You might want to think about getting something like this. It's not going to fall apart on you. All right guys uh, Thanks for watching and God bless